We're shooting on location here today at our Timbercon Melbourne store. We'll be going through our workbench here we've got in, in store. Now this is the heart of many workshops. You'll find the best woodworkers have a good quality bench at the centre of their workshop and that is a place where so much of it comes together. Uh, getting it set up right will make your job easier, it'll make it quicker, um, it'll give you better results and it's also more fun to use. Now today we'll be talking about both vices that are mounted to your workbench as a permanent fixture and some accessories, different bench hardware from a range of different manufacturers. But the first thing we're going to talk about today is bench vices. So they come in a range of different shapes and sizes for a range of different applications. Now to start off, we'll talk about these vices. Now, what a vice actually is, is generally some kind of screw mechanism which will bring two faces, uh, whether they're metal or timber, together to hold your workpiece. Your vices you can use in a myriad of different ways, depending on how you're making things and what you're actually making. Different vices will appeal to different people, uh, and many people will have more than one vice on their bench. So we'll start with the basics with these quick action bench vices here. Now they come in three different sizes. We've got the seven inch, the nine inch, and the 10 inch versions. These are a very tried and tested design. We've been getting them made at the same factory for many, many years, and there's a lot of these around the country doing well for people on their workbenches. Now they're a solid steel and cast iron construction and operation of them is super easy. To open these jaws, you can either open them in the standard way, like you'd know from a standard screw vise, where you wind in and wind out. Now with these ones, there's also this little lever here. You just push this in and that connects into the quick action system and then you can open and close the vices, vice jaws very, very quickly. So depending on the different uh, work pieces you're actually doing, uh, that's where the different sizes come in. So if you're mainly working on smaller pieces, then something like the RV77 is a great little inexpensive vise that is really easy to attach to your bench. Insulation on these quick action front vices is very simple. So there's a couple of coach bolts you'll need to screw straight into the bottom of your workbench and you may need to pack it out so that the top of your jaws of your vise sit just below or flush to the surface of your bench. You can also screw very, very, with very little effort as well. Uh, it comes pre-tapped with these little, little holes here so you can pop timber, timber jaws onto your vices. So when you're working with timber, you're not gonna mar your work. One other little feature about these vices that many people don't actually realize what they're for are these little pop-up bench dogs. So these guys work in conjunction with bench dogs, which we will go into shortly, um, to be able to hold pieces of work so you've got um, a low profile clamp so you can still work on the surface of your workpiece without clamps getting in the way. So we'll show you just nice and quickly, we'll go into more depth about these dogs shortly, but basically you pop your bench dogs in your bench, wind out your quick action vise, pop up your bench dog, you can pop a piece of work in there, slide your quick action back in, and then tighten with the screw. So now that's being held in there nicely and firmly so you can plane on the surface, you can shape it, you can do what you need to do without clamps getting in the way. The next vise on our workbench is this front screw vise here. So the way these ones work, these are a very traditional style, um, very traditional style vise. They are screw in, screw out. There's no quick action mechanism on these ones, but if you're after a traditional style vise on your workbench, this is a really good option. They're available in two different sizes, this little tacker here, and one that's the same size as this one, but we don't actually have that on display. When it comes to mounting these guys, there's a big solid cast iron plate that mounts the underside of your bench, and they actually use the side of your workbench as one of the jaws. The other jaw you can just attach yourself. Uh, you can make that to the size you'd like. Everything is very solid. It's a steel and cast iron construction, and once again, a very, very tried and tested uh, design of a vise. They've been like this for many, many years and they work really well. There is a little bit more involved with installing one of these. You will need to drill three holes through your timber jaw that you're fitting on um, for these three solid bars to go through. Now these help keep your vise nice and straight to give you an even clamping pressure on both sides. And they have come with a really good quality lead screw which uh, just keeps on keeping on. Now if winding out this one in and out is taking you too much time and you're a little bit impatient, we do have another option. This one here is very similar to this one, except it has a built-in quick action release system. It's a very solid system. 
Uh, you can see underneath here that as you wind it back, the little metal cap will swing open, allowing you to wind, uh, to slide out your vise quickly, and then slide it into, hold your workpiece, and then do your final few tightens with the screw. Fitting one of these quick action front screw vices is very similar to fitting one of the standard screw vices. It's a cast iron plate that gets mounted underneath. The only real difference is this one has that little quick action flap. Another great feature about these vices is that any vices that you put a wooden jaw on, you can drill dog holes into the top of and use much in the same way as our quick action vice with the pop up pop down peg. So with our dog holes we've got here in the system, basically drop some dogs in there, wind your quick action vice back out pop some dogs in the top of your vise and then you're good to go to clamp like I was earlier. So wind that in with a quick action and then do your final few tightens with the screw mechanism and you are once again good to plane, carve, do whatever you need to do without being impeded by clamps coming over the top. These vices come in two different sizes. There's a smaller one and a larger one. Uh, the one we've got here is the larger one. Another thing worth mentioning is you don't have to put these on this side of your bench. What I've done in my workbench at home, I've got a large one of these, and I've actually mounted it to the end, and my jaws run the whole distance of my workbench. So if I'm doing something like a big table leg that I'm needing to plane down, I can pop that in there. The full width, I'll get a nice, nice uh, clamping pressure the whole way along, and that'll let me work on that um, unhindered. Now this vice on the corner of the bench here is one we get asked about quite a lot. This is a shoulder vice. Shoulder vices are commonly found in Scandinavian workshops. Uh, now, the benefits of using a shoulder vise is that the jaw itself is mounted on the end of the screw with a ball and socket sort of mechanism. So the jaws themselves can move. With these ones, we're mainly clamping uh, even pressure on both ends of the, the jaws. Now with this one, if you uh, have a tapered piece of work or something that's a different shape out of square, um, that's when these guys really shine. The other benefit of using something like a shoulder vise is you don't have the mounting bars and the, the steel guide poles underneath your workpiece. So where these guys are great for mounting stuff horizontally, if you're working on something like a guitar and you need that to be coming up, up and down to be working on things, um, you've got full clearance there. So there's nothing in between your jaws to stop you clamping things. So I'm sure you can see now that something like this is great for holding stuff horizontally and something like this is great for holding out of square things or things vertically. The other thing worth mentioning with these is they're a very simple construction. Once again, very little to go wrong on something like this. It's bright steel and cast iron, very solid. Last but definitely not least of these vices is the tail vise. Now why would you use a tail vise? Now these in much the same way as our shoulder vise, you don't have any uh, bars or anything blocking your clamping area. This means you can once again clamp things vertically and you've got good access to the front of them when you're working on this one as well. Now, the other main thing which the tail vise does that the other vices don't do is it, because it has such a long screw here on the vise, you've actually got a really good opening on your jaws. So these open wider than any of the other vices that we sell. These will open up all the way to 330 mil. Now that will change a little bit depending on the thickness of your timber you've built your box with. But yeah, it's a, it's a big, big clamping area. So now we've had a bit of a chat about bench vices. Now we're gonna talk about some surface hardware. So most of this surface hardware will use the dog, dog hole system. So these are 19 mil or three quarter inch dog holes drilled into the top. Uh, the same ones you'll find on our armor tool bench and it's the common, common size worldwide unless you've got a fez tool system where you will need 20 mil dog, dog hole products. So we'll start off talking about the actual bench dogs themselves. So these are kind of the staple of your bench hardware. Most of them are relatively low profile, so they don't get in the way like we discussed before with the, uh, the vice dogs. These come in a range of different shapes and sizes and styles. So they start off with quite a cheap and cheerful Belladonia plastic set. You get four in a pack and they're very, very cheap. Uh, now the benefit of the plastic ones is that if you're using your nicely recently honed chisels and you go a little bit a little bit off, off course and you do hit one of your dogs, it's not going to affect your chisel. Where if you're using something like steel or a hard metal, you may do damage to your tools. The next in line we have these little Belladonia alloy ones. So these are the next step up from these. They're beautifully machined, they feel good in the hand, and they've been coated in a nice soft coating. Now. These, uh, they come in a pack of two. They're 
incredibly reasonably priced and this is what I use on my workbenches at home. Um, I find these ones to be really good value for money. A good balance between, a really good balance between quality and cost. The next products we're going to talk about are these Veritas Bench Dogs. So we've got both Bench Dogs, which are these large, solid brass pieces, and we have the Prairie Dogs, which are these smaller brass ones. Now they have a sprung system in the side, so they'll hold into your dog hole, even if it's the whole way through, and they feel great. These are the, yeah, the, they're the duck stuts of, of bench hardware. So we've got these prairie dogs, which are the small versions of Veritas bench dogs. So if you've got a workbench, which is that or thinner, these ones will do a really good job. If you've got a nice big thick workbench and you want to make sure that those dogs are held in there super good, you can go for the Veritas bench dogs, which are longer to give more support on your, on your workpiece. The last one of the Veritas bench dogs we're going to talk about are the prairie dogs. So these little guys are pop up, pop down bench dogs. So you can leave them in your bench permanently. They come in a pack of two. And they also come with this little mounting hardware here. Now it's magnetic, so it'll stick onto it. But basically, you screw that on the underside of your bench if your dog holes go the whole way through, which most people's do. And then you can easily swing them out of the way when you need clearance. And when you need to use your prairie dogs, swing that back on, drop them in, push it, and they'll pop up and down as you will. Now, another little great Veritas product as far as bench hardware goes are these wonder dogs they come in two different sizes there's the wonder pup and the wonder dog and how these work it's much in the same way you've got your post which drops straight into your dog hole and then as you wind the mechanism you'll notice these jaws move in and out so you've actually got side you've got horizontal inline clamps that you can then pop in a dog on the other side and clamp your workpiece between much in the way we did with our vice this gives you low clearance, as all these products have, have low clearance on them. So these guys come in two different sizes. There's the smaller size, the Wonder Pup, and the, the Wonder Dog, which is the longer one. Now, much in the same way as the Veritas Bench Dogs, the longer one is good if you've got a nice, big, thick workbench, because it gives it extra support to keep that super flat. Or if you've got a standard size workbench, this is the one to go for. They've also machined into the jaws of this one two holes here on both the large and the small size. So if you use a pan head screw on that, you can actually put your own little timber jaws as well. So if you need a wider area or need it not to mark, then that is a really good option. So if you're after something that looks traditional and feels great, then these Wonder Dogs and Wonder Pups are a great option. But if you want something that's just quick and easy to use, then these Bessie inline horizontal clamps are fantastic. Now we've spoken about these in one of our Cool Tool Tuesdays. So for all of the ins and outs, click on this link up here and it'll take you to the video about that. But just to give you a brief overview of how they work, you drop it in the dog hole, you tighten up the little split dog in there, which will actually separate the dog to bind into the hole. So there's no movement there. And then we've got two here on display. So lock those both in and clamp away. That's it. Another one of the Bessie Bench Dog products is the low profile planing stub. There's three different sizes available and you've got both sides of it. So one side is a nice thin low profile one for doing thinner work pieces. If you've got a bigger chunkier piece like this, you can use the higher profile side. Now they're adjustable dogs, so it doesn't matter what your setup is as far as distance between your dog holes. You can adjust that with just a simple twist and slide up and down a T-track on the bottom, lock it into place and you're good to go. So now we've had a bit of a rundown on both vices and bench dogs themselves. Um, we've had a bit of a chat about the horizontal clamping. Now we're gonna move on to vertical clamping. So depending what kind of work you're doing, you may need to clamp from the side or from the top. There's lots of options for all of them. So we'll just go through a few of them right now. Now for those of you who have seen our Cool Tool Tuesday series, this one won't be, won't be new to you. So this is one of the most popular dog products that we sell. Uh, this is a, a dog hole mounted auto adjust clamp. So to use these ones, just slide in that dog pole and then finish off by clamping down your workpiece. So the next two products we're gonna talk about are the newest addition to the Timbercon range, as in they aren't even up on the shelves at the time of this filming. Now, these are two Bessie hold downs. So 
These ones work much in the same way as an F-clamp, which many of you will have in your workshop already, most of you. Um, you've probably even got some Bessie ones, and if you've got some Bessie ones, you'll know what all the fuss is about. So these ones are adjustable, so you've got your standard screw to close down on your actual piece of work underneath. Now there's also this bar here, so you can slide this up and down to be what you need it to be, and do your final lock-in with this. Now these come with a 15.9mm post, which with a simple adapter, you can clip onto the end, tighten with an Allen key, and drop it into your dog holes. Now these posts are available in a range of different sizes. So if you've got a, a Fez tool system using 20 mil dogs, you can get those. If you've got a 19 mil, you can also get those. We also have this version, which is much more like the traditional F clamp. So you've got your main bar that slides up and down. You drop that in, drop it over your workpiece and tighten that one off. Now this one also does require the adapter on the bottom. So make sure you get the right size adapter for your system. So once again, drop that on, Allen key that on and you're good to go. So now we've had a bit of a rundown on both vices and bench dogs themselves. Um, we've had a bit of a chat about the horizontal clamping. Now we're going to move on to vertical clamping. So depending what kind of work you're doing, you may need to clamp from the side or from the top. There's lots of options for all of them. So we'll just go through a few of them right now. Now for those of you who have seen our Cool Tool Tuesday series, this one won't be, won't be new to you. So this is one of the most popular dog products that we sell. Uh, this is a, a dog hole mounted auto adjust clamp. So for these ones, they come with a nice big long uh, pole here. So it doesn't matter if you're clamping something quite tall or you're clamping something quite short, but you just lock those in, and clamp that down. This is also a new part of our range. So this is a Bessie. It's, it's based off the Bessie click clamp, which many of you may use in your workshop as well. So it's a ratchet clamp. So one motion with all the clamping action you need. It's got an adjustable uh, head on that so you can clamp things at different angles. And once again, you do need the post adapter on that one, but that one locks in, slide it down, and clamp it off, and away you go. These are super quick, super easy. You can operate them with one hand. Good little product. So the last two hold downs we're gonna talk about are the Veritas ones. So once again, beautifully made, nice weight to it. You feel like this thing's gonna last you generations, really. It's really well built. Many of you will be familiar with something that looks like this without this brass knob, which is just basically kind of uh, a 19 mil post with almost like a crowbar style head. So those ones, you just slide in, give them a whack and they lock in and you lever them out. This one is an update of that. So how this one works is slide it into your dog hole. Now it comes with a really long post on that. So you can do really uh, a wide range of, of sizes with this one clamp. It's also got a very long throat on it. So you can clamp over your workpiece. Um, this is probably the longest reaching one we stock. So if you're doing bigger stuff, this one might be the one you're looking for. To use it, drop it in the dog hole, slide it down to your workpiece is touching the clamp, and then do your final few, few twists with the brass knob. And that is not gonna go anywhere. To release it, a few twists on the brass knob and raise the post out and you're good to go. So the final tool we're gonna to talk about today is the Veritas surface clamp. So how this one works is a little similar in the way to the way the Bessie horizontal clamps lock in, but you've got a split dog on here. So basically you slide that split dog into the hole, you twist that and that'll actually separate the sides of the dog to, to fill that space so there's no movement in there. Then this part you can quickly move up and down to the right spot and then just tighten off and you're good to go. So there we have it guys, it's a quick introduction to bench hardware. So if you're a woodworker and getting yourself a beautiful workbench is something that you really would like to do, um, have a good think about the parts that you think will be best use for you. There's a wide range of hardware from uh, cheap, inexpensive stuff up to beautifully made heirloom quality tools and everything else in between. I hope this has helped to answer a few of your questions about bench hardware, but if you have any more questions, Click on the links below for more information and don't forget to subscribe. See you later guys.